Now then, and welcome back to Marvels. Will it flop or will it bomb? It's got to do one or the other. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One, and welcome back. We have some news to get into tonight, so I'm going to put myself in a corner and we're going to go have a look at some news. I will see you in a second. We have some news. The Marvels with 140 million global opening not expected to be marvellous at the weekend box office preview. Here's something we don't see often, opening projections plummeting for a Marvel studio movie. Well, in the last couple of years we have. Its latest sequel to 2019's Captain Marvel, which was placed in between two of the biggest films Marvel has ever produced. Hell yeah! Um, the Marvels, which is also an extension to Disney Plus of Disney Plus's series One Division, which was okay. It's it it's not it wasn't great, but it was all right. And Mrs. Marvel, which I haven't seen, and I don't really want to go and watch it in in all honesty, um, has seen its weekend forecast collapse, collapse from 175 million to for. From 75 million, sorry, to 80 million three weeks ago to around 60 million stateside. Some tracking services, Quorum, have lowered their estimated to 50 million plus for Marvel's open on Friday. I cannot wait to watch this and see this horrible film and see it just. On the way! Um. Production budget, two hundred and seventy-four million. And that's not even in. That's not even including the marketing costs. Who knows what the marketing costs could be? Could this put it closer to, to four hundred million overall budget? And it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a fifty-five. Oh, critics. Uh, let's can I click in it and uh, top critics 34 percent top critics 29 top critics and it's 39 stop them 40 year old white guys critics you know reviewing your films as oh, yeah maybe what you should do um but will we see Disney let me click off this. Will we see Disney, the honest company, maybe buy a couple of empty theatres to boost up their numbers? It might happen. Hmm. One thinks, hmm, maybe. Um, can't prove it, but, you know, it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past the shady fuckers. Um, and, I'll, you know, to do something like that. And have they done something similar in the past? We all know they... This, this site changed its scoring for Captain Marvel. So, will some of Dodgy go on for that? Quite possibly. And a couple of re reviews already. Gunner, one star. A sequel to one of the most unlikable characters in the MCU. <laughs> Not cushioned by two of the biggest films in franchise co-starring two characters most people don't know that's another that's for a separate video but another reason why everyone's so oh, so annoyed with marvel because you've got to keep up with everything everything just to understand the film you're learning everything watch you've got to watch every disney plus fucking show every disney plus show every film i don't know no, I want to watch what I want to watch. And and this is where Marvel losing. They're losing. And we, we see real time, you know, they're losing. Um, and you'll probably say, no, you're, you're, you're wrong. But we've got a two star. Not good. Not great. Yeah, you know, a five star. I'm still wondering why the movie is called the biggest flop in MCU. Well, I, I said I'm more likely I'm going to think it's called a bomb. In all honesty, flop is quite nice. I think it's gonna fucking bomb. Um, I think this movie is much better than Thor: Love and Thunder. Well, I've not seen that one either, but what I've heard is that was probably one of the worst Marvel films ever, ever. And 
and they've done a couple of shockers just recently. And Ant-Man 3, which I did see quite a num number of times, not because I loved it, because I fell asleep a lot of times in that film. And, <laughs> you know... It took me a wa it took me a couple of days to watch it. It was yeah you know, a couple of day film uh, for me to watch it because I fell asleep every fucking time. Every time. <laughs> it wasn't great, and I love Paul Rudd, love Paul Rudd, and I love him as Ant Man. But that film was fucking stupid. The comedy is on point. Well, I'll hopefully find out very very soon. I generally don't listen to critics big critics little critics i generally don't listen to them so you you got this this guy i, I wouldn't listen to any of these would they help me out maybe um the people i do trust on the internet on the interwebs you know you've got your critical drinkers you've got your nerd rikes you've got your as from heel versus babyface you've got the jeremy at geeks and gamers you've got a whole load of them shadowversity i listen to them if there's something they're they're passionate about, and I'm gonna hundred percent listen to him, and but I, it doesn't mean they're gonna put me off watching a film. I will still probably go out and watch it, and come back and hundred percent probably agree with him. And it hundred ninety nine percent out of a hundred, it's generally been like that. I've listened to some of, say you know, as has put out, and he's he said it's fucking awful. I've gone to watch the thing. It's fucking awful. I don't think there's a film or a TV show out there that I disagree with him on. And I would love to find one that I could maybe disagree, but I can't. I could maybe disagree with him on Doctor Who, but that's just because I don't like Doctor Who. Um, and I won't go out and watch it anyway. Um, but these guys, I trust these guys. Uh, more than what I trust these critics... Um, so yeah, I'll listen to them guys. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna do what they, what them guys say. I'll do what I want to do. At the end of the day, it's my fucking money. It's my fucking time. I do what I want to do. And unfortunately for you guys, you're gonna to listen to my thoughts and ramblings and goings on. Hopefully, you might enjoy it. <laughs> hopefully, that's what I'm here to do. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, but. The Marvels, it looks like it's it's tracking badly. Couple of reviews there I just looked at. Let's see if we what an absolute waste of a movie. Waste of story, time, money, and what not. The only good thing The only good thing about this movie sorry, that didn't really make sense to me in, in this noggin of mine. Um the only good thing about this movie is it's <laughs> One end credit scene. Now, is this where we're going to get the the X Men? The, how much are they going to fuck the X Men up? Come on, let's. Uh, they're, gonna, they're just going to fuck it up, aren't they? But I can't wait to see this film. I can't wait to let your you guys know my thoughts on this film. Um, I, I still I think it's going to bomb. But will it flop? One of the two. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know bomb or flop in the comment section. If you want to get in contact with me, all my details are in the description of this video. Please get in contact with me. Your know, Facebook, Twitter, email, you're on in the comment section. I will always get back to you. It could be like that. It could be a matter of seconds or it could be a couple of hours or could be day but i will always get back to you i will promise you that it's been four days i hope you like this video if you did please give me a like and please think about subscribing to my channel you guys are legends if you didn't like this video i thank you anyway for watching thank you um i've been rarity one i will catch you in my next video peace